Well, today I am in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and I am at the Goodwill. This is a Goodwill that I do not come to very often. Um, I rarely find anything on the shelves, but when I do find stuff, it's good. So we're going to give it a shot, and we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, well, what do we have here? $1.99. I really love the texture of that. It's a bowl. I think it's just a single bowl, though. I don't know if it's really necessarily worth picking up a single. If there were more, I would probably consider it. This appears to be vintage. There's no markings or anything on it. This looks like it's made in China. Kind of has a um, fishnet design. That's the word I'm looking for. Well, this is pretty. That's a candle, I think, right? Yes, it is a candle. $1.99 for that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be picky today. I'm going to leave it behind. What is this? This is a flower. This is one of those planting or the watering things because it's hollow in the stem. There's a wall pocket with some shells on it. Oh, wow. It's an um, art pottery piece. Is this Colby, it looks like it's signed? I love the detail on that, so I think I am going to take this with us. $3.99 on that. Oh, wow. It looks like somebody was gluing stuff together. That's <laughs> never a good sign. Dishwasher safe. Oh, that's a uh, that's pottery. I expected that to be metal. There is a Starbucks cup. I think it's a lid. Someone did mention in one of my videos recently that you can get replacement lids, but I'm not really sure how to go about that. Not for food use. I always love to see that warning. <laughs> See, joy. There's a cranberry glass vase. That's a dollar ninety-nine. I don't see a terrible high resale value there. And here's like a firework ornament for a dollar ninety-nine. I think that's just sticker residue. I don't think it's actual damage. It looks like this side has some damage. What is this? Sea coral? Coral? <laughs> Ooh, that's got some age to it. Unfortunately, there is what looks like it could be a crack on the bottom. Well, it goes all the way through. That's a shame. You know what, though? That might be worth picking up. Because I know some of these seafood restaurant wear pieces can be worth quite a bit of money. So I'm going to stick that in my cart right now and look it up. That is probably the most terrifying doll I have ever seen. Royal Vienna doll collection. My gosh, look at her eyeballs. That's not normal. $1.99. Some gold uh, remnants on there. Oh, that must have been a border. That's kind of fun for summer, $1.99. I'll pick that up. Okay, so I tried looking up this plate, and all I'm getting are these Michael Jackson gold coins. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to put the plate back. Restaurant wear is usually a pretty hard sell, because I do have some that I've had listed for a really long time, and it just takes the right buyer coming along, so I don't know if I really feel like necessarily storing this piece for as long as it takes to sell it, so I'm going to put it back. There is some textured glass here in the back. Little apple bowls. Here's some more textured glass. Those are goblets. Surprisingly thin. There's a set of china here. It looks like George and Martha courting is a symphony Salem China here we have a giant Mary 
lights, but it is made of chalkware. The last chalkware piece I bought um, and sold actually broke in transit. Chalkware is just so tough because it's so fragile. You wouldn't expect it because it's so heavy, but I don't think I'm gonna mess with any more chalkware. I like the glaze on that. Good at violin. All right, so this is the last aisle, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. I haven't found a whole lot. Oh, it's photograph. I like the acorn on that. <laughs> Made of wood? No, it's a resin. $2.99. This elephant over here is adorable. $1.99. <laughs> well, I've resorted to looking through the little baggies before we leave. And I kind of like the um, pattern on this. It looks like 25. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that was added after the fact, but I love that teardrop pattern. I don't think it's worth picking up the baggie for just one glass, though. Those look like they have some age to them. They probably do. Buck ninety nine. Nice spice stangle. One ninety nine. And one ninety nine. This one has that pattern name on it. Country Garden. Over, make sure they're in decent condition. I don't see any chips or cracks on those. Nine times out of ten, when I find a stangle, it's got some damage on it. So that's nice, and I like the pattern with the colors. Winter Olympics 1984 Campbell Soup Kids. So these platters were hiding under that plate right there. And I decided to look them up because it's a Corel pattern I've never seen before, and I guess it's called Batik. Anyway, they sell for like 8 to 12 bucks a piece. I think I'm going to pass on them. How much were they? Yeah, they're only a buck 99, but again, I'm being a little bit more selective today. Uh, I also noticed this up here. And I thought, you know what? That text looks kind of familiar. Sure enough, it's redone for Zillies. They got 4 dollars on that. Um, I think it sells for like 18 to 24 but I don't know how long it would sit for because um, Zillies is kind of specific and I'm not sure exactly what that means. I don't know, for $4.99 we'll leave it. All right, well I'm going to do this aisle one last time just to make sure that <laughs> there's nothing missed. The clear glass just has a tendency to blend together, so um, I, try to, I try to look through it at least two times. But I don't think we're going to find much in this aisle today. I just found these two bears on the shelf. And at first I thought they were Boyd's Bears. They're actually Barrington Collection. I haven't heard of that before, but it's in Kennesaw, Georgia. Anyway, I thought because they were Halloween they might sell pretty well. But there's not a whole lot of profit to be made there. So I'm going to leave those guys behind. And I think we're going to head out towards the checkout. All right, so I did pick up these shoes. They were at the checkout, a $6.99 for the pair. And I was thinking for Juliet, although I just called Andrew and she's a size three. These are a one and a half. They seem really big, so I'm gonna give them a shot and see if they fit her. And um, if they don't, we'll just, uh, we'll resell them. But I just think those are so cute, so I'm gonna grab them for her. Okay, well, our total spend there at the Goodwill was right around $22, but that included the Timberland shoes that I got for Juliet and also that tie-dye shirt that you may have glimpsed in the cart. I got that for Ashton. So anyway, I've moved, like, one parking lot over, and I am now at New Life Thrift Shop. I believe this is a Mennonite run thrift shop. Uh, the last time I was here, and I've only been here once, the prices were, like, right, right at that point where couldn't quite make money but they were still good prices but we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna head in here and see what we can find so here we go.
four dollars and fifty cents. It's got a little drawer in there. 1994 Pat Compton. Oh, I'm confused by that. There's like two little shell or two little drawers in it. That's kind of neat. All right, well, this place is extremely crowded. I wasn't exactly expecting it to be this crowded in here. Um, and I'm not really seeing a whole lot. That looks like Raydon. I'm not sure what that mark. Maybe that is a Raydon mark that's just been worn off. That little guy's kind of cute. He's made of copper, $5.50. I kind of like the bulldog, so I'll stick that in my cart. And then the other thing I was noticing with these, well, they're made out of pottery, $2.50. There's some residue up here, but it looks like it may have been a barcode or something. I'm not sure, but those are unique. And uh, they're $2.50 a piece. I'm not sure exactly what their purpose is. But they look like they've got age to them, so I think I'm gonna grab those. What does that say? <laughs> $4.50. Looks like Cyrillic. That's kind of interesting. I have no idea what it is besides a T10. Let's check the inside. Dagny taught me to always check the inside. So it doesn't look that bad. Uh, $4.50. I'll give it a shot, I guess. Without looking it up. <laughs> This little doggy looks like he could be a hubbly. $4.50 for him. What's this one? Oh, he's got like a, a ball. It's a Scotty with a ball. $5 for him. I might pick those up as well. All right, there's something else that I was like focused on, but now I got distracted. Oh, this light up here. I'm wondering who makes that. I'm a little bit nervous. You know, I'm not even going to try to tip that over because that makes me nervous. I'm actually going to come down here and look at this teapot. Let's see what that says on the bottom. That says, made in England, Price Kensington. I like the pattern on that with the birds. Just wonder if the lid is original to it because the lid looks a little bit different. It has the same color scheme, but just looks different. It's eight dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, why not? These little shoes are so sweet. Those are really cute. I wonder if Julia could walk in those. Probably not. <laughs> Hinged uh, trinket box with the velvet still inside. I kind of like the looks of these birds. Dollar fifty each. Four wise monkeys. Dachshund down here, two dollars and fifty cents as is. Oh, he lost his tail. That's a shame. What is that for eight dollars and fifty cents? It's like a thumbprint milk glass with an applied blue handle. Huh? That's not something I've seen before. If I haven't seen it before. I think I'll give it a chance. I like the looks of this teapot as well. Appears to have some age to it. It has this figural floral handle. There are no markings on the bottom. I did turn it over and I didn't see anything. But it does appear to have some age, so maybe we'll do that. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting to find that much here. A few gold salt and pepper shakers. What is this? There's two of them. What does that say? Maria Anna, hmm. Italy. Okay, so I looked these up real quick. I feel like this is just a little medallion and uh, the medallion itself sells for like nine bucks. So I'm not sure if those are necessarily worth 
picking up. It's the Gold Tweed Royal Hager, $7.50. I mean, that's a good price for it, but you know what? I filled my cart already, and I think I'm gonna leave that. This is really pretty. That is a silver plate. Very heavy silver plate, though. $9.50. I might grab this um, and try to work it into my own decor, and if it doesn't happen, I will resell it. Glenview Pottery. School something. School day. School days, maybe. <laughs> this is decorative. Unfortunately, it does have a large chip on it. So we're going to leave that behind. We have some milk glass here. It's like just a pressed pattern milk glass. I'm really not seeing a whole lot on these shelves out here, except the praying hands. <laughs> Single pepper shaker there. There's a woman here who is just like coughing up a lung. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> to the house of a friend, the way is never long. QB collector's edition. I don't typically pick up these collector's plates. Occasionally I will make an exception, but um, there's just not a whole lot of resale value there, or value in general on most plates. This puppy here looks like it could be German. It's very thin ceramic. I'm not sure though, he's kind of giving me mixed vibes. $2, $2.50 on that. There's another puppy, that one I think is probably Japan or Taiwan. These resin figurines are adorable. Kiggs Collection Fairy Series. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen those before. I kind of really like this pillow and there just still happens to be a pair of them. But unfortunately you can see that the, the foam inside is yellowed and um, kind of starting to decompose. A little bit and there's no way to switch the phone because they're made around the phone. I don't know. I really like them but I don't know if that would be uh, that would be a good idea. Here is another one up here. Same issue though. Although this one it looks like you could actually replace the inside. Kind of a Christmas colored pillow. Well, our total spend there was $59, and I was correct when I stated that this is a Mennonite run thrift store. I was reminded of that when I walked in the doors. Um, the staff is super, super friendly here. Uh, the prices, I kind of had to dance around a little bit, but I was able to find some deals, and it was it's a really nice and clean shop, so I'll probably be stopping in again. I'm not sure when. I don't usually come to this Goodwill very often, but um, yeah, definitely stop back through. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was a little bit shorter, but we're gonna get out of here now. This guy is looking awfully ominous. I'm sure you can see it behind my shoulder. And uh, the thunder is definitely rumbling off. So I might stop and um, get something to drink, like a milkshake, and then just wait out the storm before I, uh, I embark on my next adventure. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.